Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So, welcome back. Now it is our next lecture. So in this uh, lecture, I present you that uh, two step Rungekuta method for time integration. So we had before just very naive approach, which is called the explicit Euler approximation. So their explicit Euler approximation is always due to the explicit scheme and first order. So uh, there is a restriction of time step. Normally the time step is very small. If we want to increase our time step, maybe we go to the higher order. So you can go to Runge Kuta of order 4 also, but now I think uh, I just introduced up to 2, which may be sufficient uh, uh, because uh, on the space derivative we have uh, the, uh, up to second order approximation and now with the time also if we do the second order approximation and then uh, we can somehow get better resolution, better, ac better accuracy in our numerical solution. So now consider for because we get obtain always a discrete system of ODE depending upon time. Therefore, we need uh, to con now we are concentrating on uh, the integrating the ODE system. So consider. A OD dy by dt is f of t of y initial condition. So this is now maybe 28.1 with condition f. 0 of x also at time 0 because x also may be so f0 and y here y may be also 0 it may be the function of time the discrete time tn is equal to n times delta t n is equal to 0, 1 is same as uh, so up to the total number of uh, integration time step. And now I define we then denote a same as Euler y n will be y of t n y of n plus 1 is so maybe is if I have half it's y maybe n plus so t n plus half something like that or whatever yeah so i will be having this notation here our y n plus 1 let us raise at the moment yeah so now the two step Runyakuta. So I call it as RK of two is given by 
so what we do is that first we compute y n plus half here the time level not n plus 1 because in the explicit value we had to n plus 1 so the first we compute y n plus half is equal to y of n plus delta t by 2 f n of y yeah so now it is if you remember the Euler scheme what we had the Euler scheme that y n plus 1 was y n plus delta t times f n of y but now what we have that so I have I consider n plus half then I just compute with the half time step and then I obtain finally my y n plus 1 is equal to so my initial value is again y n plus instead of taking delta t by 2 I consider a time step delta t and I compute my the right hand side vector not at time level n but it should be time level at n plus 1 yeah so we can just I we don't need to write so y because y is already a time level so this is now here so in our notation we can also write fn is f of tn of y and f n plus 1 is fn f of t n plus 1 of y yeah so now this is a two step so this is a step one so this is step two so in the first step what do we do that we compute this is called the intermediate step so or predictor and this is the corrector yeah so whatever we predict that at half time level we predict like explicit Euler scheme and then we do the final correction that with the same initial value uh -huh. we had little mistake here so with the time level step delta t instead of having the the this right hand side vector at time level n we consider a time level n plus half so this is uh, the two step runga method so he if you lo, do some terra expansion you get the approximation is order two so i do not go into detail of that so now let us implement this scheme yeah so 28.2 So let us implement 28.2 for our Lagrangian formulation of is yeah so first consider linear advection case linear so in this case what do we have we have a discrete form let us remember we have discrete form dx i by dt is equal to a d rho i by dt is equal to so here I have in the ALA form so it is ALA so arbitrary Lagrangian Eulerian form ALA formulation So it will be minus a by 2 del rho i by del x. Yeah. So this was our discrete form of ALA formulation. 
so where i is running from one to number of grid point now let us implement this 28.3 plug 28.3 into 28.2 so what will happen so now i have just presented one equation but we have two times n equation yeah because i run from 1 to n here i run from 1 to n here therefore we have two total number of uh, ode is 2n so the first, just do the first, same as this, the first step. X i n plus, so I move the particles with the delta t by 2. So x i n plus half is equal to x i of n plus delta t by 2 times a so exactly that one here so our f capital f is here a by 2 so it's still here not only a it is a by 2 and then our second equation rho rho i of n plus half is rho i of n so this is the yn plus so our right hand side is a minus then we have minus delta t but it is half so it should be minus delta t by 2 yeah times this constant a by 2 times del rho i by del x at time level n yeah this is the first step here then we have second step our second step will be x n plus 1 because we are looking not x n plus half but we are looking x n plus 1 is equal to x of n so these all are i x i n plus 1 is x so this is the second part so x n plus 1 is x of n plus so instead of delta t by 2 i have delta t times so y n plus half because this a is constant so whether it is n n plus 1 n plus 2 this for the first equation it doesn't change so it is just nothing else it is just a by 2 because this y n is constant for the first equation but it is not the case in the second equation so for the second equation what we get y rho i of n plus 1 for the second equation is this one rho i n plus 1 is rho i of n So right hand side is a minus. So it is delta t. So instead of delta t half, is a delta t. The times a by two is also constant. Times del rho i by del x. So it is not a time level n, but it should be time level n plus half. Yeah. So in the the half half level that's all so now what is the difference between the explicit euler so now we have to do the computation of derivative two times it is first time for the first step and then we have new position the particle move for the delta t by 2 and then we have a new value here rho i n plus 1 half at the new position and then at the new position we compute again the derivative of this rho i n plus half and then we plug that into this equation so we have to compute at every time step in the explicit Euler so we have computed only uh, so we have computed only 
the derivative only one time, but now we have to compute it every time you step derivative n plus half. So it means that so our scheme looks like so our scheme looks like so first initialization yeah so you initialize your boundary you initialize your grid number of grid you initialize your final time step then you initialize your initial grid then you discretize your initial condition so there in the initialization everything is there like before which you have already described second part after you do the initialization then you do the time integration so here t is equal to initially t is equal to zero initialization and then do while t less equal to t final so what we do finding so here one finding never it x i n so it is maybe the x old yeah computing del rho del y del x of rho old of i yeah so x i of old here and the third step compute x half of i and rho half of i so here so once we compute the derivative on the right hand side here and then we just now write x half of i is equal to x old of i plus delta t by 2 times a by 2 and rho half of i is rho old of i minus delta t by 2 a by 2 times once we have the derivative here we plug that derivative over there rho x yeah so we finish the first part so this is a part first and now part second so this is a part now part second so what we will have again finding finding never at all x half of i so this is uh, number step 4 step 5 compute computing del y del x of rho half of i yeah, in the new uh, position So number six, once we compute the derivative of rho i of half and then we plug this here, then update update x n plus one at i or x new, which is like this is x new and rho n plus 1 of i is rho nu of i and then assign 
x old is equal to x new row old is equal to row new so it is 7 then 8 go to second that's all yeah so this is the time integration so now what we have we have seen that we have to find the neighbors two times because the neighbor of x old is different from neighbor of x half because we move with after time step delta t yeah and then again if we have the new points here in the second step so we have to compute the derivative at of rho at the half level then we have to compute again the in order to find the derivative we have to compute again the neighbor here and then after computing that neighbor we can find the derivative so then we have to almost double effort in order to compute at every time step you see we have two time we have to find the neighboring of two times we have to compute the derivative of two times one first time here and second time here and other thing are the same but explicit Euler only one step was sufficient therefore you want to have a better accuracy for that you have to pay the price so now this is this is for the advection equ uh, the equation if we have a diffusion equation it is similar same so i i don't write the advection diffusion equation i write the viscous burger equation so so that advection diffusion equation will be similar to the viscous burger equation therefore So here we have discrete form again. Del rho by i by del t. So it is x i d x i by d t is equal to rho of i. Uh, d rho of i by d t is equal to epsilon del to rho i by del x square so our epsilon is positive and now in this case so if i have the same the advection diffusion equation i will have a here instead of rho i and then here i will have again the d times this one so now instead of constant rho i have the variable rho now rk2 steps now yeah, the first step is so what we have exactly the same xi n plus half is xi of old plus delta t by 2 so in the linear advection i had a by 2 so here it is again rho by 2 it is a a L A A L E formulation. Oh, not is the it is a fully Lagrange, not rho i by two. So if I would have a L A, then here it will be zero. So here it is the Lagrange. So Lagrange formulation. So here I will have rho i of n and my rho is rho i n plus half is here rho i of n plus I will have now instead of delta t by 2 it is delta t and then I will have epsilon del rho i n by del x square okay. So in that in the in the ALA formulation I had this part, but now we have viscous term, therefore we have right hand side is different here. So this is the first step. Second step is 
I do the correction. So x n plus 1 is x. So it is i. x i of old again. Oh, sorry, it is n. So I am now confusing with old and new. It is anyway, this is the n plus delta t, not delta t by 2. But now in that constant, what we had always a, a by 2. But here, since I have already rho n plus half from this step, so I move not with the rho, but I move with rho n plus half. Yeah? So my velocity will be n plus half. So since I have already n plus half here, so that I put here on the right hand side. So it is different from that part. And my rho i of n plus 1 is rho i of n plus delta t times, so now it's second order derivative at i dx x square, it is again n plus half. So this is my second part. Yeah? So the difference between that one and this one is that now, I change my position not with the old constant velocity, but the velocity or the value at the earlier the predictive time step. Yeah. So now I do the correction, and after that, so again it is the same that the, the algorithm is similar. So we have to find first the neighbor at old position, the second order derivative at old position and then compute this half level here, that part is over. Then come to the second part, finding the neighbor at the half position here, and then compute the second order partial derivative of this one at the rho n plus half, x n plus half, and then I update x n plus one or x nu and rho rho n plus 1 is equal to rho nu, and I assign the old value as a new value, and then I go up to here. So now in the next uh, lecture, I will show you that how we implement this equation, this equation, and uh, there will how again, with the same example, we continue like before, and I show you numerical implementation of this algorithm. Okay, so I think we stop it today. So see you in the next lecture.